Hello and welcome to another episode of Barlow's TV, your local landscape and garden resource. I'm Stephen Barlow here in our beautiful greenhouse on this cold winter day to talk to you about repotting your house plants. Now I don't know if you know, but during the whole month of February we offer free repotting. So if you have any plants like I'm going to show you today and you feel they need a new home, please bring them in and we'll take care of them. So let's get started. So what I have here first is an arrangement of a Calathea and an Anthabelle palm. And there used to be something in there, so it's kind of looking not great like you want to put it on your dining room table or in that nice picture when you're in your house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up. And when I clean up a house plant, I want to get all the dead or brown leaves off the plant. So I'll take them off and I'll even use my scissors. You know, you always like I always say a good sharp pair of scissors or pruners are really important for you gardeners out there. So we're going to clip all those off and get all the dead things off. And I have this space in here. So I have found this plant right here. This nephitis, it's a really cool plant. It's, uh, it likes the same light conditions as these, which is medium to high light. I'm gonna pop that in the spot here. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna make sure I have good dirt in there. So I'm gonna take some of this older dirt or soil out, and I'm gonna put the, a little bit of new soil or dirt in. When I'm looking at soil or dirt, this is what we sell here at Barlow's. It's a, it's a light, fluffy mix that isn't really hard and compact. And we recommend whenever you're repotting something, you wanna use a new soil mix. The older soil mixes could have diseases in them, and they just don't have the same structure that they had when they were first used. So I'm gonna put a little bit of new soil down in here. I'm gonna take this nephitis out. I'm gonna take some of the dirt off so it can so it can fit in there. I'm gonna push it in there. And I'm gonna add some more soil around it, like this. And you see how much nicer that looks now. It looks much more appealing to be in your in your house. So simple as just taking one plant out and putting a new plant in. Now over here, I have kind of a my family's heirloom. I've been with my wife now for over 10 years and on our first one of our first dates I got this small little jade plant and this is what it's come to now and it's about time to get a new pot. So you can see it's kind of root bound, it's kind of really large and, and it needs a new home. It's been in this pot probably for about five years. Now you may wonder why you have to repot your house plant and what makes it time to repot your house plant. There's a couple things that I look for. One is if the roots are wrapped around the pot. So if you have a lot of roots, it means it's root bound that needs to be repotted. Another sign that I know something needs to be repotted is if you go to water it in your sink and the water comes right down through the whole pot, that means the soil is old or the plant's been in that soil for three or four years and it's time to get some new soil into that pot. The other thing, how I'll know if a plant needs to repot is sometimes if a plant will look yellow and it just isn't taking up the nutrients it needs, it needs a new pot. Those are some simple ways that I figure out if a pot needs, if a plant needs to be repotted. So I have two different containers here and I just want to explain to you what's important about a container. When you're picking out a container for a new pot, you can see this one doesn't have a hole in the bottom of it, so it's not going to drain. So you need to make sure your watering practices are, are you're on top of your watering practices because if you water too much, the water can't come out the bottom. Or you have a pot like this that has a hole in the bottom and also has a saucer, so water doesn't get it all over everywhere. So I'm going to use this pot. It's a little bit bigger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to break the roots up on this a little bit. And then I'm going to fill up this pot with some of our, our new soil. And don't forget, we will do this for you. If you don't want to get your hands dirty, it's just not something you want to do and you're not comfortable doing it, we will do this. And as I said earlier, it's free during the entire month of February. So I'm going to put this in here, nestle it in there so it's just up to the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in around it. I'm going to push the dirt all in around it. And when I'm all done with that, I'm going to, I would continue to fill it all up. When I'm all done with that, it's going to have a nice new pot and a nice new home that can spread the roots out and continue the nice growth. Now some of you might have something like this in your home and you're like, I want this to come back to life. My friends, there's a time when a house plant needs to go. So that's this time for this plant. There is no resurrecting this plant. My green thumb can't bring this back to life. So what we recommend you do is you just take this and you put it away and you put something like this in there. Now this and this much nicer, you have this beautiful Diffenbachia. You tell your friends, oh I brought it back to life and it looks wonderful. So I'm gonna put that in there and I'm gonna take some of my soil I'm gonna put it out, put it around there. All right, so I have that. I have some plants I repotted. I use some of my potting soil and stuff. Um, what also we recommend doing is, you know, when you're done repotting, we will water them in here before you bring them home or when you're done at home, you wanna water them in well. I recommend doing it over like your kitchen sink because some of the soil might come out the bottom and you wanna soak until the water comes out the bottom. 
The other thing we recommend is using a slow release fertilizer on your house plants. You can do this twice a year. Generally, you know, you want to do it maybe in the summertime and then again this time of year. And just you follow the label instructions, but it's basically for a for a pot this size, one tablespoon. So you can sprinkle it right on top there and just sprinkle it on the top, and that'll slowly release fertilizer into this into the soil. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys learned a little something out there. Um, and be sure to check out our website for other episodes of Barless TV. Thanks and have a great day. If a pot's been in, a plant's been in a soil, nope, that wasn't it. Stop. <laughs>